Good morning from Kabul. It's early in the morning and we're going to be walking this entire uh, day in Kabul, seeing a lot of interesting things here. Good morning. Oh, good morning too, bro. Welcome so, to Kabul, yeah, man. the city of wonder. Where are we going at the start? Uh, Where do you think we're going? We're going to very good places. I think first we should go to a very busy bazaar and after that we should go to bird market. Yeah. I think you love the birds a lot. Yeah. I also love the so birds. So bazaar first. Yeah, bazaar first. Sounds good. arriving at the bazaar right now. Let's yeah. roll up the window. Here we go. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Our driver will join us soon. He has to park somewhere else, but we're gonna be moving this door. Look at this, bro. Look at this. Emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Almost want to buy this as a souvenir. Really? <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. <laughs> bazaar for ordinary people in Kabul. But the people who are rich won't come a lot here because they will go to very luxury and very expensive things. But here, for normal people, people like you and me, because yeah. we're not rich and billionaires, yeah? yeah come yeah, here and yeah. buy something for something a little bit cheap. Bro, bro, bro. I had a wardrobe malfunction, <laughs> but my pants were almost falling down, so we had to go to the car to fix it because it's very disrespectful to do it <laughs> in the public here. <laughs> but we're gonna be getting out of the car as soon as we can. Uh, there's a lot of traffic here, so we have to wait a little bit. There's over 10 million people living in Kabul. That's more than twice almost the entire population of Finland. So it's really hard to find parking here. getting back to the market, uh, bazaar. We're gonna be seeing a lot of things here. I will show you everything, everything. Sugar cane. Have you ever tasted sugar drinks? Oh, I sugar don't cane. Don't like it. Let's try it a little bit. I suppose, oh, this is the boss for the sugar cane. The little boy. How much does it cost? Maybe like uh, 20 for per glass. Okay. It's pretty cheap, it's only, 20 per glass, which is how much in uh, Afghani, uh, euros? Uh, in euros, maybe, I really can't say, maybe 0. Point, 0. Point 20? Yeah. Okay. Or 20, 20 cent, maybe 20 okay. cent or 30 yeah. cent. Okay. It's nothing, bro. Yeah. And this is the boss man here. This is the boss, yeah. Boss man, a young child young working child. really hard. Yeah. All right. Three. One for him. I give him fifty. Right. Yeah. Tell him uh, that he can keep the rest. Uh, yeah. It was ten, not twenty. This <laughs> is sugar cane. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I do it. I do it. Big, 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 big. No, no, keep it. Keep it. It was only ten Afghani. Yeah. This is only ten Afghani. Uh, so twenty in total, not forty, which is like nothing. It will make his day. Yeah, yeah. It will make his day. So, yeah. of course. When I have a little bit of money to spend, I will give it back to the people. Yeah. And all it tastes how it uh, tastes like. Tastes exactly like it should. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. You can show the people out. Yeah, the people here. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Uh, many people are gathering here, even in Kabul. They are interested here as well, yeah. Curious, curious. Yeah, curious. This was what it was like in Mazar Sharif. You can show the people a little bit. Mazar Sharif, it was exactly like this, but a lot more people than this. They are minding their business a lot more in uh, Kabul because they have businesses to run here. Can in, you come uh, a little bit here? Yeah. Yeah. In the bazaar. <laughs> but there are still curious people here. Exactly. So we drink our sugar cane really fast that we continue. 
Oh, chickens. Chicken, chicken. Chicken. Goose. Turkeys. How much is one chicken here? Six hundred. Really? How much is it in euros? Like uh, eight euros. I'm gonna buy ten chickens and get them free. <laughs> <laughs> this, this place is called the bird market. Bird market. What about this? What what is all this here? Spices. This is rice. This is bean. This is I really forgot the name in English. Tea? This is tea. Yeah. Uh -huh. This also tea. This all is right. rice. All food. This also bean. Oh, very yeah. cool. This is the uh, chickpea. Chickpeas. Yeah, but the raw one. Uh -huh. yeah, like, Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. What is this? There's like a. Uh, these are dried meat. Dried meat. People Oops. usually use it in winter. Winter. When it's winter, it's very cool, snowing, freezing. Yeah, People yeah. come here and buy it. Yeah. Then it will be very delicious yeah, to cook it. Yeah. Some rocks per cell. Why is there rocks per cell, bro? These rocks are. I mean, how they cheese? Oh. We call it Gulis Ar Shoy. Salam Jikiriti. It's for washing your your hair. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, they're using rocks to wash their hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to use one of them? You buy chimu fidas. Oh, they say it's for strengthening the air. It's ah, very good. Uh -huh. It's strengthening your hair. Yeah, it's, it's strengthening. Yeah, it's uh -huh. strengthening your hair. Okay. Nice, nice. And there's a knife sharpener here serving all kinds of blades. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. These are grains for birds. Yeah. Bird food. Yeah, for birds. Bird grains for birds. Uh -huh. These are all grains for birds. Afghani people really like birds. Yeah, they love it. That's more. very cool, bro. Uh, here, we will go and buy very, very good and maybe a little bit reasonable and uh, cheap birds like dogs. Yeah, yeah. And this is a place where I will definitely buy something interesting if I see to bring as a souvenir from my friends and family in Finland. But Let's see if I can find something. If you buy two dogs and release them, it, 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 it means that you will make them a very good day that they are Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, yeah, very, yeah, very, very good luck. Yeah. And there's birds here as well. What kind of birds are these? Pigeons? I love birds, bro. They are so nice. I want to like pet them. <laughs> and bunnies here as well. Look, bunnies. Baby bunnies here. Busy at eating. Rabbits. Yeah, uh, rabbit, bunny. Hargush. Bunnies, rabbits. Dargush. Hargush. Hargush. Dargush. I'm learning Afghan here slowly. Hargush. It's time for maybe buying some dog. Dari do? Okay. Parwas kona diga. Nasha okay. We're gonna buy some birds and release them later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Release them now, not later. No, yeah. no. We're gonna release now. How much is one bird? Two hundred, like two and a half dollars. Go up there. We go up there. Up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. We are going up somewhere. And these buildings can be like 100 years, bro. Or 800 years. <laughs> Ready? Do you want to release it? I release. Yeah, 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 release it. I throw. Yeah, throw, throw. Oh, oh look, look, look. Yeah, you really made his day. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Three, two, one, lift off. <laughs> wow, that's so cool, bro. Back to civilization. <laughs> Parrot. Parrot. I love nice. it. I really like it. Someday I wish I buy it. Yeah. Whoa. Really cool. <laughs> Can you take a picture with him on my shoulder? Okay, why not? Why not? Yes. It's so cool to see these things. Like, 
seriously. Do you have like these in your country? We don't really have any kind of markets like this where you can walk like bazaars, but we have uh, pet shops, specific like pet shops that you have to go to. Usually in shopping malls or something like that. Free chickens there. I wonder if I can pet them. Chickens are smart. Oh, he's scared. He's scared, bro. I think he will peck me if I come on. It will bite you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Tasha, cool. Oh, wow. Big turkey. Big turkey. Big, big turkey. Yeah, big. Huh? Oh, really? You, what? You're gonna kill it in front of me? Bismillah, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar, Allah. Look at that comment. I've never seen something like this, like an execution in front of me. They killed a turkey in front of me. That's crazy. Man. Do you have some day like Thanksgiving Day? You can tell him like uh, Christmas. No, Christmas. Christmas. Huh? Christmas. Yes. No, that's the day. Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, not really specifically like Thanksgiving, more like Christmas. Yeah, the Christmas. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you. So apparently, the turkey that was killed in front of me that I just fed it right before it was killed. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. The bird of a turkey that was killed, it's apparently a very big honor because I am a guest in this country. It's a big honor to kill it in front of me. Uh, these are the cultural differences that we have. It's very weird to me. <laughs> like, holy, holy crap, I can't curse here, but it's like, what? <laughs> I've never seen something like this, bro. It's crazy, man. Really? <laughs> but for you, it's normal, right? No, I myself cannot do it. I myself cannot do Why? it. Yeah. Why? I don't know. You, you don't like don't killing like, animals? You don't like it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I couldn't do it either, bro. I couldn't either. Yeah. But, but I mean, you're butchers, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, that's the thing. Like, we eat the meat, but this is how it's done, you know? Yeah. They kill animals like this. You go to home and you buy a chicken from the store it's killed like this so what's the difference like I just get to see the process so I understand where the meat comes from think about it bro this is just a way of life we need to eat meat for sustenance and they are killed like this that's just how it goes bro that's just how it goes what does it say on the mountain let me zoom in Afghanistan that's like Hollywood <laughs> I show Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. Yeah, I'm fine, bro. What about you? Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Okay. You want to selfie with me? Good. Thank you. That's cool. Two minutes and I will have my hair cut. Local Afghanistan. Salam Finland. Finland. Finland, yes. Finland. Thank you. Thank you. Tashiku. <laughs> Tashiku. We met some foreigners for the first time while on my stay in the country. It felt surreal for some reason. After exchanging our greetings, a couple locals wanted to take selfies, and it's actually funny how many of them wanted to do that with me. I only have a few clips to show from these interactions as I managed to be rolling footage at the same time, but it was quite many people. That's pretty cool in my opinion. Hi, 
I'm in the mood for some street food here. This, uh, this bread, what was the name of this? Walking over and seeing this everywhere, so I want to try this now. It's definitely something I need to see. Yeah, it looks delicious. Yeah, it looks delicious. Salam alaikum. Local place. Where can we sit? At the back? Oh. Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not. No, no. He says that. Oh, I don't know. Eat. I am full. I say I'm saying. Look at this place. That was fast. That's a good. That's a good. That was really fast. Mm. Let's eat some. Uh, what was it? Bulani. 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 <laughs> uh, it's really hot. Let's see what it's like. Mm. Let's dip it. It's chili sauce. Uh -huh. mm. Amazing food. Salam alaikum. How do you like it, bro? Oh, gulush. What is this? What is this? This is dough. What yogurt? Yeah, yeah. Not a thing. Mm. It's like sour, a little yeah. bit bitter or so. What is it? This is made from yogurt, yogurt. Yogurt, uh, like sour yogurt, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. does it have like, um, what is this green here? Uh, I think it's like spinach. Spinach. When you want to drink it, drink it in Kunduz. Kunduz. Kunduz is the most uh -huh. fresh one. All right. Bar. <laughs> it's an apple car backpack. Spider Man. Just like me, bro. Spider Man. If any of you guys don't know, I bought this from Sri Lanka. <laughs> Superman and Spider Man. I'm a Superman and Spider Man at the same time. What do you think about that, bro? Uh, you are. Really, you are. Yeah, I am. I am the you Superman are. and Spider Man. You should be yeah, proud bro. of yourself, bro. Two hours later. Okay, out of the market, and we're gonna go eat some Afghani chicken burger. Afghani made chicken burgers. Herat restaurant. What happened in Herat recently? It's uh, very sad, bro. The plan was this that we should go to Minaret or Jam Minaret, mm -hmm. and after that, we should go to Herat, but very suddenly, repeatedly, four or five earthquakes happened mm -hmm. in Herat. We got a lot of damages and Mm. Uh, what should I say to you? A lot of ruins Earth, and yeah, earthquake. And that was why that we changed our plan and we said no, we don't go to Iraq right now because maybe some problem, maybe uh, some other time the earthquake happens, it can be scary. Mm -hmm. Then we, we, we left it. But today, fortunately, we came to a place by the yeah. name of Herod restaurant. Yeah. Over 2,000 people died in the earthquake. It's actually maybe more than that. Yeah, more than 2,000 people. A little bit of taste of Herod. Let's go eat. Salam alaikum. Salam. Here's the burger. That's a good chicken burger. Chicken burger. Yeah, looks really nice, bro. Kebab. Kebab. Kebab for me. You like it? Yes, but not. Chicken burger. Salad. Salad. Spicy. Local cola. Alakuzai cola. Tastes like Coca Cola. So we ate the chicken burger now. Where do we go next? Next uh, to the hotel to get my phone, mm -hmm. and after that we go to the place that has the longest flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the pole that has the longest flag. The longest flag in Afghanistan. Here we are at the biggest flag of Afghanistan, Suish. We're gonna see the views first, then we walk over there. It's actually really huge. Crazy how big it is. But now we get to see some landscapes here from Kabul, what it's like here.
forgot to say the name of the place as I walk away from here back to the car and we're about to head to the underground market. It's Wazir Akbar Khan. Wazir Akbar Khan. I was at the DMZ, you know, demilitarized zone at the south and North Korea border. Oh yeah, yeah. There was, uh, I think, North Korea was claimed to have the biggest flag in the world. Like they have a really big flag, but I think this is even bigger. Really? Yeah, it's really huge. Like you, you're in Kabul, you look up at the hill, you can definitely see this, mm. this flag, I think so. It's really huge. All right, so the underground market wasn't possible today because there was so much traffic, but we're going to a different one. Yeah, Bush Bazaar. Bush Bazaar. Taken by the name of George Bush, but now when Taliban took over, it was changed by the name of Mujahideen Bazaar. Mujahideen Bazaar. Let's and what is on. a mu Mujahideen? Can you explain to the people? Mujahideen uh, or some fighters or some religious fighters that they fight for your religion and they fight against any, any uh, occupation, you know, yeah. occupation yeah. elements when they work, work, who they wanna accommodate their values, for example, on somewhere. Mm. We can have Mujahideen in all, all over the world. Yeah. But Mujahid or Mujahideen, I think it is a special word for the Islamic fighters. Mm. So they are the basically fight. like the warriors of our rights. Yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. let's go see Mujahideen. The buildings are actually really modern and nice looking. Look. It's very different to what you would expect in uh, uh, if you look at the pictures or Western media, what, you wouldn't really expect like modern things. People have iPhones here and newest Samsung Galaxies, really nice cars, some of the people. There's nice buildings in Kabul, good cars. Uh, you can get many facilities and it, like in Mazar -e Sharif there was a really good supermarket that rivals like a Finnish supermarket. Things are not like they seem really, but you have to experience this country to really see what it's like. Yeah, this is Afghanistan, bro. This is not Somalia. Bro. I don't know. No offense, Somalian brothers. I love you all, but this is Afghanistan. Afghanistan has everything. I want to buy something, bro. There. Let's go. Let's, go. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm going to You buy the dollar sign one. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, that's good, bro. Really good. So, while my friend Noor is buying a sleeping pillow for his journeys, I was offered tea by Abdullah Noor. Abdullah Noor. Abdullah Noor. He gives me chai, chai, tea. And I will sit here in his shop. Tashikur. Tashikur. It is a very disrespectful thing to deny tea. If they offer you tea, you have to drink it. Tashikur. Tashikur. Mm, really good. I like it. It's good. Really good tea. This is different than the, the other ones, the green tea. I wish Noor was here. He could translate to him and tell that this is really good. But I think he understands. It's good. Noor, what did you buy? Show me what you bought. I bought a... Yeah, bro. I bought a pillow because I cannot sleep usually in the car. Mm. Maybe it's because of the neck, because I cannot put my neck or, for example, how can I say, located in a comfortable situation. The position, and that was why that I thought if I buy this, I may be able to sleep. Because mm. sometimes, like yesterday, we had 16 hours ride, yeah? yeah? If you sleep, it would be very, very good and better because yeah. you can focus better at night. Yeah. Let's keep going here. You can see on the background all the bazaar things here. Oh, uh, Shalom. Shalom alaikum. Let's show. How are you? I'm fine, bro. How are you? They they want me to see their shop. Salam alaikum. <laughs> yeah, shampoo, shampoo, very good. Zinc. Zinc, Yeah, man. Yeah, very good. Shoulder, I'm Rikai. Head and shoulder, yeah. I, can you tell him I use that in Finland? Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, good. Yeah, man. Tell him nice shop. He has good products here. Kandori Sobun, original. What is that? Soup from Afghanistan. Oh, soup. Afghanistan. Soup from Afghanistan. Tell him that I will buy to try in the shower today. Nice, nice. Uh, how much? I'm gonna make a chandas. Yeah, I don't know how to farm it, man. He says that the the corner. 
Try what uh, like Afghani flavor is, you know what what the fragrance is. I'm gonna look forward to that. We all have our soap. We have for newer and we have our, for our driver. Abdul Jabbar gets a soap and I get a soap. Everybody gets a soap, bro. Easy game, easy work. This one I want to see, bro. Really? Yeah, this one I want to see. There's a nutrition shop here, so we we're we're gonna be going to a bodybuilding gym, oh. Gold's gym. Do you guys know what it is? But there's a there's a nutrition shop here as well. We need to see what it's like. Salam. Wow. So this is like a mass gainer formula. I don't even know what this is actually. Anabolic mass, extreme and lean muscle mass. Taurine, DAA, HME, creatine, L-arginine. This is actually a lot of protein as well. But uh, so I don't I don't think we have brands like this in Finland, even in bodybuilding shops, like supplementary shops. This is some really high quality whey protein. It has glutamine. Oh, what is this? Testosterone inducer. Yeah. Mm. Standard whey. This is actually, we have this in Finland. This is one gold standard. A little cream flavor. This is chocolate. This is good. And back to the streets we go. Oh, bro, Kabul Gym Afghanistan. This is an exotic uh, shirt. I'm gonna take a good picture of it. I'm very sad that I don't have space to buy this. I would, I would use this at the It's really maybe, maybe uh, interesting shirt. There's some kind of appliance shop here. Clocks and silver crest. We have those in Finland as well. Silver crest. Salam <laughs> Levi's, a shirt shop. So let me look. There's another supplement shop here in the background, but we're not going there because we already saw some toys. Yeah, man. When when you get a son, maybe you get a son when you make children, you will buy this weapon for him so he can pretend to be Talibah. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, maybe I buy this one, bro. Really? For my little brother. Well, it doesn't make a sound, but... I know a few people who would actually like this, but I don't have space for that. Unfortunately, we do not forgive, we do not forget anonymous, even in Kabul. We got a military shop here with Western equipment like Nord Face 511, all the latest tech actually, Multicom camouflage. This is really interesting to me, so I really like to see this. We got permission from my friend. What is your name? How are you? Kamal. Kamal. Yes. My name is Henry. Nice He's the owner you. of this shop, and Hello. I have the privilege to show this around like all the... They don't have weapons here, but they have chest rigs, camouflage, everything. Yes. This, for example, these shoes, they are very good. Merrill, they are very good shoes. I, I'd actually buy this if I could. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice shoe. I have some nice yeah. Under Armour shoes. Really? See? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Good for running. Yes. Yeah, very good for running. They have it yeah. for color. That's have cool, it also bro. Salomon. Salomon, yeah. yes. I wear a lot of Salomon at home. It's good. I'm okay. working like 18 years. Really? Yes. Yeah. Nice. 18 man. years ago, he's doing a shop. shop really, shop. really? Respect, brother. That's a lot of years. Uh, Under Armour here, yeah. North Face. These I like especially. I would actually buy this to Finland, but I don't have space for nice them. Face also, see? Oh yeah, goes well with this. Uh, this uh, I don't remember the name of this. What the? What is the clothing? Uh, the scarf. No, no, they're clothing. Vest, so. vest. Yeah, the vest, the vest on top of this. Yeah, yeah. Really work. Yeah. I wish I had space, bags. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With many pockets. Yeah. Many pockets. But I have this here, this Roman bag. Uh -huh. But if I didn't have that, I would buy yeah, this function. Do you have a specific name for this shop so they can find this? This one you have it, Kamal shop. Kamal shop. Yes. Uh -huh. You don't have it like uh, 
the name, uh -huh. just everybody you know my shop. If someone comes here and asks yeah. which one is the Kamal shop, then yeah. the yeah. old people yeah, yeah, show, yeah. oh, this is yeah. Kamal. For the tourists, though, uh, you come down to Mujahideen Market, Mujahideen and, market. yeah, Mujahideen, yes. former George Bush Market, now <laughs> yeah. Mujahideen, yeah. the Mujahideen yeah. Market Kamal shop, and you will find really cool things, even like uh, shirts, basic shirts, they look really nice, especially this one I like here, and these, these are really good for soldiers, this one especially, it's really good. All right, brother. Thank you very Thank much for you, showing buddy. me. I Thank respect that. Coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Take care, brother. I forgot to show you. There's military gear here. This is really modern. The dress rig, the multicam, even this. This is like maybe three hundred dollars. This alone, these pants. Like the Taliban use something like this. I can't film them, but they have very high, uh, high quality equipment. Yeah, yeah. Special forces. What was the special forces called in uh, Taliban unit? That was like three one nine or something. Tektehas. Kete yeah. Khas. Okay, so Kete Khas, it's like a special, equal, force. Yeah, special forces, it's like Navy SEALs for the Taliban, and they, they wear clothes like this. I've seen many people actually who have this a modern AR-50s with uh, red dot sights and everything. Thank you. Pakul is very good. Thank you. I like it. I like the, the clothes. Pakul and this uh, yeah, scarf. It's very comfortable. I like it. Okay, take care. Corn flakes, huh? cocoa pops. They eat traditional breakfast here also, some of the people. Pasta, western food, you can make a pasta, rigatelli, rigatelli. I hope as you see my videos, you, your view about Afghanistan changes also, because you can get any western product here also. There is no, no like, uh, how do you say it? like they don't they don't live primitive they have the exact same products as we do the guy asked specifically to show his shop what is your name brother Kobe Kobe Salam alaikum my name is Naiwan Naiwan my name is Henry nice to meet you Salam alaikum I will show your shop because you asked of course I will show these products there's like heaters there's uh, fruit juicers tea kettles they these are a really big thing in this country like everywhere you go they will serve you chai aka tea and they bring this which is full of hot tea uh, for example to our hotel room when we wake up there's a full kettle and we can drink tea ironers Stand mixer like that for the fruits. Electric oven, these are really nice. If you want to cook meat, it's really nice. It's a nice shop, bro. I cut out the clip of us seeing a goat's gym as we started moving in the morning and we'll save it for the next episode instead. This gave me the curiosity to want to see an Afghani gym and that's exactly where we're headed next. The whole day as we drove around me and Nur were actually searching for a possible place that we could visit and finally found one which was actually really really good. Now we get the, the most famous gym here. We're gonna see what it's like here. It's good. It's good? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Nice bro. I'm really curious to see what Afghani gym is like. It's like Americans. Uh-huh. Alright, let's go see Afghani gym. Wow bro, I can already tell it's a professional gym. These are Afghani achievements around the world. Taekwondo, there's Taekwondo classes here as well. They have, we had like a conversation, they offered us coffee here. We're waiting for permission to go inside the gym, so I, out of respect I didn't film that. But he told me that they have strongmen, power lifters, bodybuilders, and I've actually seen, I saw people coming here that definitely had the bodybuilder physique. So, it's no joke, they actually have a commercial gym here as well, one of the most famous in Afghanistan. And they have German equipment, so they really know what they're doing as well here. These are all uh, winning some titles like this guy here. I don't know who he is, but uh, he's won a medal for something. All right, we're at a gym called C4 Pro, which is one of the most famous places in Afghanistan, uh, one of the most famous gyms in Afghanistan. And 
As I look inside, it's actually very impressive. The equipment is apparently from Dubai and Germany. Here we have my fitness instructor for this gym. What is your name? Uh, Said Morris. Yeah, from Peru. Thank you for coming here. Thank you very and much. For I want to greet everyone watching the video. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate this opportunity. Thank you. This is what the gym looks like from here. You can already tell it's very high quality, actually. Like, way better than most Finnish gyms I've seen. <laughs> Like I said before, bodybuilders, power lifters, and strongmen. There's like all sorts of people here. Yeah, even also, Taekwondo, right? Yeah, also we have good fitness working groups. Yeah. Now we can see them, how we work, how we, uh, yeah. how the team works. We have a group work, team works yeah. for burning fat, for fitness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And nutrition classes. Yes, yeah. plus yeah. nutrition. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Food. Yeah, here you can find many supplements, nutrition supplements you can yeah. take care. That's that. You can get some really high quality protein here as well yes. and some energy drinks. I think there's creatine, CLA also, yeah, like they have Argentine, uh, Carmine, something like this. I haven't I even heard of check it. this. <laughs> oh, fruits. Yeah. Yeah. Pre-workout. Yeah, this <laughs> yeah. is the kind of pre-workout. Fast, fast carbs. Yeah, some of these, I can actually see they're like regulars. Like you can see they really put in the work yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Most people do it. They go come regularly yeah. here and yeah. most of them are uh, like they're a motor for their professional levels. Mm -hmm. Most they work a lot. Right. People can enjoy and they work a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's still like IFPD level. Yeah. International. Yeah. Not like that, not like that, but we have lots of them too. Oh, no. we have and you have one competition. Yes. Yes, we have bodybuilding competition, we have sports, busy, fitness competition, we lose something. But we have to IFPD level the under that. We have yeah. a motor. Yeah. What about Arnold? Uh, yet we don't have them there, but uh, we are planning to have one of them. Too. Really cool. Yes. Really cool. I like that. I like that. I can see you, your physique is great. Thank you. I can see it already. You've worked out for many, many years. Thank you. Thank you. It's, I like it. Uh, usually when you see an instructor like this, he owns a gym like this. A uh, very, very high quality gym, and he looks like, uh, has a physique like this, he knows what he's doing, bro. Like, you can't, like, he's the real deal, this is the real deal, man. Take okay, a look at group works, what yeah. we do there, then we can go to the All right, sounds good, bro. Here we have the group work, and it's mostly for people who have yeah. got uh, yeah, mostly fat. Yeah. yeah. And they want to burn fat, it's a kind of group work to encourage them, yeah. work to them. Like, if they do this alone, yeah. if they... If they do that alone, they will not be that much in chest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Arabic exercises, yeah. cardiovascular. Yeah, but yeah. if they do them together, they will be more encouraged to do, yeah. to burn fat. Yeah. This is a new course. This is a yeah. new group of really? course. Really? Yeah. And now these people join them too much. Yeah. Oh, right. Have you guys thought about uh, starting like CrossFit courses here as well? We have them too. We have really? Them too. Yeah, but in the morning, like early morning, like uh -huh. 5 p.m. Ah, oh, okay. That time we have. But okay. Then, that's like group All right. fitness working. Yeah, yeah. What about like Olympic lifters? Like, um, how do I say, like calisthenics? Do you have calisthenics? calisthenics? Yeah. Uh, we have only one. Oh, really? Only one, yeah. Oh. <laughs> not too much. That's like a new industry. Yeah. We had not developed too much here. Yeah, okay. But we had one too. Uh huh. In the okay. world, it's not developed that much, like All right. building and fitness. Yeah, but one is enough. <laughs> it's good. It, it yeah. brings uh, a yeah. voice to your nation. Yeah, That's yeah, good. Many of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good, man. And there's some running mats on the yeah, other you side. You can have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Does this have like an incline increase as well? Like it goes up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Incline levels. Yeah, yeah, levels. Yeah. Incline levels. Yeah, okay. they have levels like that. It's a flat. Yeah. It's not flat. It's inside. And also a rowing machine yeah. here, a power bike. Yeah, mostly people who want to burn fat, who want to lose uh, weight, mostly they use them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here we call it fitness area. Yeah. Because yeah. many people come here to lose fat. Yeah, yeah. The downstairs there is bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna go see that as well. Yeah, right? Yeah. All right, perfect. And these ones I'm particularly interested in. They look really high quality. Yeah. Uh, the other guy said that this is from Dubai, right? Yeah, yeah most yeah. of the equipment that we have, uh, we imported from the Dubai and uh, Germany. Germany. Yeah. They're uh, like uh, here in Afghanistan, they are above the average level. Yeah. We want uh, good e good e equipment, mm -hmm. good results. That's why we bring, we import good quality, mm. high quality mm. equipment. 
So guys, this is the layout of the of the gym area, weightlifting area. There's you can already see there's many bench press platforms. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit. Bench pressing machine, uh, machines even, basic barbells, there's a smith machine here, uh, dumbbell area on the other side, you can squat, that's a really good squat rack, you can see, and there, you can do pull-ups here, just like any, yes. oh my fingers, <laughs> covering uh, pull-ups here, and this guy is a beast actually, look at him go, how many is that, like, 15 already. He had also he had a competition. Really? Yeah, yeah. This guy. Yeah, he had a medal. What is his name, bro? Uh, I don't know exactly. I forgot. That one also had a competition. Oh, really? Let's yeah, let's count how many. Yet. Yeah, let's count how many he does. Uh, he had one. Six. The other guy had uh, one medal too. The other oh, guy really? standing there. He had two medals. Yeah. Yeah, we have got many competitors. Great. Yet. Yeah. That's great. What about? Uh, are there people who do muscle ups here? You know muscle ups. Uh, it's like um, muscle up is like um, you do pull ups like this and yes. then you lift yourself Ooh. above the bar. Yeah, and yeah, like it's like a sinus. Yeah, kind of sinus. Yeah, yeah. 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 we have got most of the people do that here. They are, uh -huh. they are first they pull up, then they stand there. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's uh, when somebody does this, it's great yeah. upper body strength. Yeah, most of the people who have got good, great uh, strength, yeah. most yeah. of they can do. But the uh, average people can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The it guy, takes a lot of time. Yeah, the guy I told, told that uh, he ha he was doing calisthenics, yeah. he could do that. Yeah, most yeah. Of the people can't do it because yeah. Yeah, well, it's the hardest uh, workout. <laughs> yeah, it is yeah, really hard, really hard. hard. This is a really good overview. You can see all the equipment is new here, like. I dare to say this this rivals pretty much any other gym there. It's really nice to see that like, there's a lot of Afghani people, like really a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, the fees also for yeah, yeah, like many people come like uh, it's maybe like uh, it's lower than fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like uh, av like an average level. Yeah, average people can come and uh, afford. Yeah. it's like a forty, but every yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we are heading to the gym area now that you saw from the upstairs. It's good to see. So, all right. You can see we have leg presses here. Yeah. Yeah. The left side we have like uh, here you can do push-ups. Push yes. I actually had a machine like this at home. Yeah. And I practiced a lot with it, and I especially like this. <laughs> That's go hard or, yeah. Yeah, or go home, and this is Thanos from the movie. Yeah, for people. Yeah, Avengers. To encourage people. Yeah, yeah it's good. It's motivational is yeah. always good. It's very good, bro. Wow, this. Look at this bench, bro. It's brand new. It yeah. actually glistens or glows, actually. Yeah, big extension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These plates are good. 15 kilograms. Yeah. You can do. I know, leg presses, you can do yeah, leg presses. presses. Yeah, standing leg yeah, presses. Here yeah. Also, you can do calf presses. Yeah, calf presses are good. And the plates are actually brand new, I can say. One, two years, maybe. <laughs> and also, we keep them clean. We keep yeah. them neat, that's why it, yeah. uh, their, their dur durability increases. Yeah. We keep them clean, we keep them good. Yeah. This is very clean, bro. Very clean. Everything is shiny and uh, clean. There's no dirt anywhere. You can do... Group. We can do group exercise, we can do yeah. we can do everything here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cable rolls. Uh, I don't remember the names in English, but this is. Cable uh, cross. Yeah, cable Call cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cable cross. For chest, for last. We can do yeah. everything. Here. Yeah. Yeah. More leg press machines here. Yeah, left side mostly we, we have leg presses on the left side. Yeah. And then right side we have got machines uh, yeah. for chest, for shoulders, shoulder yeah. press, chest press, and client chest press. Yeah. We have got right side to the mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the leg machines. All right. And that, there's the dumbbell poles. Yeah, the dumbbells. You use dumbbells to build. What is the highest weight you have on dumbbells? Mm, yeah. In highest weight, 50 kilograms. So if you're a bodybuilder, you're a serious bodybuilder, you can get 50 kilogram dumbbells here. That's actually very good. Yeah. You don't need much more. You don't just have many people using those dumbbells. Yeah. They're like, uh, maybe one or two people using them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's yeah, a it's lot of weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, there's also easy parster. Uh, in English, I think it's easy bar. I'm not actually sure. Easy bar. Yeah, easy bar. Yeah, easy bar. I think. This guy is pumping hard. He's doing uh, flies, double flies. 
maybe he grows to be a strong man somewhere before I really focused here. Yeah, people, That's good. They follow a training regimen. Yeah, they, they train yeah. regularly. They train yeah, yeah, yeah. People train good here. Yeah, it's good. He has good form as well. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. Respect that. They are not joking around here, bro. This guy, he's... He's looking great, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, he has great form, a lot of weight. Yeah, and the guy behind him also, yeah. he's a monster, bro. Really nice physique, brother. Yeah. He's training really hard. Like, uh, his daily routine, he's working like maybe four hours, five hours a day. Really? Yeah, he's, he's training really good. He's working like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> like the same totally dedication. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 And he has got the same physique. <laughs> mm, yeah, he does. Very great, brothers. Very great. I respect that. I haven't ever seen an Afghani bodybuilder, so it's nice to see, you yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I also like the way he's training. Mm. He is very energetic. Mm. When he comes, some people come and they are not energetic, they demotivate others. Mm -hmm. When he comes, he motivate others, encourage yeah. others to do. Here we have got some machines. Like leg extension, leg presses, we yeah. have got many of them, we have also chest machines. Yeah. Chest flies also. He also has a great physique, this guy. Really great physique. He's also a, a member of the gym, he comes regularly and trains. The what? Like Come regularly and train for. Oh me. yeah, yeah, so I can I see can that, brother. Physique. Many years of training. Great physique, brother. Great physique. <coughs> we go make those leg extensions. Yeah. Brand new, brand new. Yeah, it's good. All the machines are brand new. Yeah. Like shoulder fly, shoulder presses. We have got all of them. Not the latest. Yeah. Guys, would you have ever imagined that in Afghanistan you have a professional gym with bodybuilders? Like many of the Western people, they have a wrong image of Afghanistan. Yeah, so it's, yeah it's now they can come, they can see what we have, yeah. in reality what we have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's great to see this. Like, it's really nice to see. They know what they're doing. Yeah, like, we don't know what they call what they call them, the West media, what yeah. Afghanistan is like. Uh, like a people, terrorist like, country. <laughs> yeah, people are like... Yeah. There might be some, but the old people are not tourists. You yeah. can come, you can see now what we have, what yeah. people do. People, like people, when, when a foreigner come here, people get happy. Yeah. Like they respect them. Yeah. They respect them as the, uh, their real guests. Mm -hmm. They can come and see and enjoy coming to Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I had more time to be here, or I lived for like two months here, I would train here every day. Yeah. And I will take you as my instructor. You would motivate me yeah, to get yeah, back sure in shape. <laughs> I just think this is really cool. Bro. Yeah, no yeah now the gym becomes crowded and people yeah. get more and more. Yeah. Actually, this I have to show. This, this here, this motto line that you see, healthy mind in a healthy body, is one of my favorite cornerstones. It is a cornerstone I live by, not right now, but usually. In Latin, it means, do you know what, what the original word for healthy mind is? Healthy body in a healthy mind. It is in Latin, healthy Latin, and it means, no son of the That's what you say, but it is a really good word. It's like a good they yeah. take it from that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One day maybe I will take this as a copy to my heart. Yeah, inshallah. I see now the things here, and now you can see like Afghani people, they work really hard. They're, they have excellent equipment here, they have training programs. You can see from the uh, habits of these people that they're no bullshit. They, like, they work really hard here. Better than Finnish gyms, like most of the Finnish gyms, it's actually the same to see. At this point, I want to say thank you to my uh, guide here. It was really nice to let you show us the gym. I'm really sure that my viewers also will appreciate it and be very curious about it. So I wish you all the best, good fortune and very good health and everything and success with your business. Dude, this is insane. As we leave, when I stopped filming, the instructor, he gave us, all three of us, uh, the ball of these fruits and nuts that I showed you earlier. And when we leave, they give us 
uh, they actually cleaned my shoes from the dirt and dust. It was really dirty. Look at this. This gym is so awesome. Like, I cannot recommend this enough. If you come to Afghanistan, you're serious about training out, come here. Like, you can, even in a, while you're traveling, if you're a serious bodybuilder, you don't have to worry about not losing your training regimen. You can eat cheap here as a Westerner. You can buy chicken, a whole chicken for six euros total from the market I showed you earlier and you can come work out here. I will put a link to this gym in my description so you can see this, uh, see this place. Highly recommended, really professional gym. Yeah, we're going to the hotel, gonna eat these delicious fruits here and go to sleep early. And in the next episode we're gonna see what kind of things are we gonna see tomorrow? Inshallah, tomorrow a good sightseeing place by the name of Karga, Karga. by the name of Birchi. to you flag and maybe many more things yeah yeah. yeah yeah maybe some random things come on my mind but yeah. now I, I still need some souvenirs so the underground market should be a really good place but for now we're gonna sleep go back to the hotel and the day is finished for us so see you in the next episode or whatever but good night